Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Let's take a look at this particular question. It's a very interesting question on circuit theorem. And uh, to solve this question, we have to follow some certain approaches as it regards circuit theorems. And we are being given in the diagram angle B A D, which is given as 36 degree, and the circle has a center O. And we are required to find the value of angle B, C, D, which is labeled as X. How do we approach this particular example? The first thing we do to recall some theorems that will help us to solve this particular example. Take a look at this. There is a theorem which is called the theorem of a diameter, the angle subtended from a diameter of a circle. Remember, when you have a circle, and that circle has a center, the line that divides the circle into two equal parts is called a diameter. So the angle subtended from diameter of a circle, the angle coming from the ends, both ends of the diameter of a circle, is equal to 90 degrees. That's what the theorem says. That any angle subtended from a diameter of a circle will always give you 90 degrees a day circumference. So even if it is being subtended in this form, so the angle, yeah, as much as the angles are being subtended from the diameter of a circle to the circumference, the angle that will always form at that circumference is always 90 degree. And when you look at this question now, this is the center of the circle, and this line A, B can be called what? The diameter of this particular circle and an angle is being subtended from this diameter and that is angle coming from both ends of the diameter that is here so what can you say the value of this place is of course the value of this particular direction will be 90 degree that's 90 degree wow that's giving us a lot of tips on how to get the solution of this particular question so we've got to know that the angle subtended from diameter is always 90 degree. That is perfect. Now let's look, take a look at this triangle, triangle D, B, C. This is a triangle, as you can see, is a triangle. And what type of triangle is this? Recall that when you have a triangle of this form, these two lines indicate to me that these two sides are equal. What type of triangle that has only two sides equal? Of course, the triangle is known as what? Isosceles triangle. If you recall some of the properties of an isosceles triangle, any triangle that has two sides equal is called isosceles triangle. Now, one most important property of an isosceles triangle is that the base angles are equal. The base angle means the bottom angles. If what I have here is 20, that means this place should also be what? 20. Because the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. With this particular outline, I believe we'll be able to solve this question. These are some of the important theorems that are very, very crucial in getting the solution of this particular example. Then another thing to take note of in this question is, because we are going to be finding the angle here. If you have a triangle whereby one side is a right angle like you have it here, and you have another side labeled as 36, so that means this place is automatically 90 degrees. So you can find this one, right? So that is to say this is 90 degrees by virtue of the theorem of diameter. The angle subtended from diameter is always 90 degrees at the circumference. Also, as we know this place as 90, we know this place as 36, we can actually find this place. I can decide to call this place Y. I can decide to call it letter Y. So for me to get this will be quite easier because I know that the sum of the ang interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degree. So sum of the interior angle of any triangle is equal to 180 degree. So with this, we'll go further to give another tip on how to digress this particular question. Now, if you have an angle like this, Take for instance, what you have here is 120 degree, and you are asked to find angle X. What approach do you normally take in this? This is what we call angle on a straight line. 
any angle formed on a straight line will give you a semicircle here as you can see the angle on a straight line is always 180 degree so to solve this kind of question i will have to say x plus 120 that will give me 180 degree so solving this will now give us x is equal to 180 minus 120 of course the value of x in this instance will be 60 degree now now that we've gotten some of the tips on how to get the answer to this question let's get started from the question that we have here this is 36 here is automatically 90 degree of which you know how we got that then we can find this place our destination is to find angle x so to find this place we have to take some of the interior angles of a triangle that will give us y plus 90 you hope you know how i got the 90 that is this plus 36 which is this one is equal to 180 degree 180 degree so how do we get this done that will now be y plus this plus this will give us 126 degree is equal to 180 degree so collecting light time we now have y is equal to 180 degree minus 126 degree of course y will be equal to that will give us 54 54 degree so that means what we'll be having here will be 54 degree 54 degree so how our destination is to get the value of x here so what do we do next the next thing we have to do is to now combine this line what can you say this place is remember what i gave you before if you have a line like this what do you call this angle on a straight line and we say that angle on a straight line is equal to 180 degree so therefore i can form an angle on a straight line from here to here that is to say since i have this place to be 54 degree i can actually get from here all the way to this place by virtue of angle on a straight line permit me to call this place angle z permit me to call this place angle z all right so to get angle on a straight line Regarding this, that will now be 54, as I have it here, plus Z will give me 180 degree. That's angle on a straight line. Then Z will now be equal to 180 minus 54. What will be the solution to Z here? Of course, the Z will now give us 126 degree. That is the value of the z that i have here wow we are very 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 close to the final solution to this question so what do we do the next thing we're going to do will be now be left with what we call the isosceles triangle isosceles triangle look at this diagram if i have this to represent this triangle that i have here you can see this line indicator this line indicator that means this place and this place are equal so therefore i can call it an isosceles triangle if you recall remember we've gotten z the value of our z here is 126 degree if i have this place as 126 degree so and i have here as x which is the one i'm looking for here what can you still remember what i said concerning an isosceles triangle we said that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. That means this, this place is x, then this place should automatically become what? x. Because the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So let's get it done here. So if this place is x, what do you think this place will be? Of course, this place will become what? x. That's the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So you know what we have here? z, which is what? 126. I can say x plus x. x, sorry x plus x plus the value of this one which is 126 is equal to 180 degree why did i say equal to 180 degree because that's sum of interior angles of any triangle so, so this one will give us 2x is now equal to 180 minus 126 so what do we have 2x is equal to that will give us 54 if i'm not mistaken 54 
That is what we have here. So what do we do next? We divide both sides by the coefficient of x. Permit me to finish it up here. Sorry. That will not be x. Will not be equal to 54 divided by 2. So the value of x will be what? 27. 27 degree. So the value of x is 27 degree. That is the solution to this particular question. I hope this is quite clear. 27 degree. When you divide this, that will give us 27. 27 degree. So the solution to this x, we can say that therefore x is equal to 27 degree. That is the final solution to this particular question. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you.